Roswell Flight Test Crew, here today to take a look at the Elios drone from Flyability. To see our unboxing and setup, be sure to check out our previous video, and to keep up with the latest on drones, be sure to click subscribe. The Elios is designed to fly in confined spaces, so we've come to visit our good friends here at the Stoller Family Estates in Oregon's wine country, and we're going to be flying inside a fermentation tank. Alright, I'm here with Ben, the chief winemaker. How you doing, Ben? Great, great to have you here. Thanks, glad to be here. So what is it you look for when you're inspecting these big fermentation tanks? So it's always a good idea when we receive the tank as a brand new tank when they come in. We order these quite often, but um, just to have a good look at the seams and the welds to make sure they're sanitary and can be easily cleaned. So in order to prevent in future infection sites for the tank itself into the wine. Yeah, all right. So we'll send the Helios in, see what it sees. Fantastic. So before we start flying, we need to put in some hearing protection. The Elios generates 80 decibels of noise in flight, and that climbs to 92 decibels when it's inside a confined space. That's enough to cause permanent hearing damage. Flyability describes Elios as collision tolerant, and its cage basically allows it to roll along surfaces like floors, ceilings and walls, and bounce off obstacles. The one thing you do need to watch out for are objects that stick out and could get inside the cage and damage the drone or stop a rotor from spinning. When possible, you want to scout the area to be inspected ahead of time to identify hazards before you launch the drone. Most of the time, you're going to be flying the drone out of your direct line of sight. We're in a confined space, so FAA beyond visual line of sight rules don't apply. In fact, you don't even need to be a Part 107 licensed pilot if you're only flying indoors. With this cage, you're not going to be taking any pretty pictures. The Elios is designed to get up close with its subject, often in physical contact, and let you see small details that would otherwise require a person to crawl inside a confined space. So in spite of the bizarre design and the, the strange environment, the Elios flies pretty much like any other drone. Uh, the sticks are mode 2, so normal inputs, and it definitely takes some getting used to running into things, but as you get accustomed to it, you find it, it's not such a big deal, and you can even use it to your advantage, sort of bounce yourself over to something you want to see. There's a point of interest button on the controller, which allows you to highlight a particular moment in the video, so you can easily pull it up when you're watching this later in Flyability software. So the Elios has got bright lights on board, which you can control the intensity of, and you've also got a lot of control over the gain or the brightness of the video. And you need to learn how to control both these things to capture clear images of the asset you're inspecting. It takes real practice. In addition to a visible light camera, the Elios also has a thermal camera, which can be useful for navigating in dark spaces, as well as inspection tasks that involve hot and cold targets, like electronics or HVAC systems. So because this drone is designed to fly inside metal and concrete structures, the transmitter is actually more powerful than you'd find on an open air drone. And to make sure you're not at risk of losing contact with the drone, we've got these signal strength indicators in the upper left hand corner of the screen. Every time the propellers start turning, the aircraft begins recording video, both on board and here on the tablet. Now the thinking behind that is if the aircraft gets lost and can't be retrieved, at least you preserve the data. Now that's not a risk for us here today, but these drones are used in nuclear power plants and other facilities where if it gets lost, it's never coming home. Here's our flight endurance test. And again, the Elios doesn't necessarily compare with open air drones because of its small propellers and the added weight of the cage. But that's okay, given its specialized mission. You want to be extremely careful about flying the Elios in open air. The cage acts like a sail in the wind, and even a gentle breeze can carry it away from you. So that was our look at the Elios drone from Flyability. To keep up with the latest on drones, be sure to click subscribe. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Fly safe.